Hi guys, Plagaga here and tomorrow is the Invasion Vengeance sneak peek. And there's one thing you need to know about me. I love sneak peeks. Like they're the best things ever. I'm excited since the last one actually. So my plan was to give you an ultimate guide where I will go over all cards and give you an additional top 10 list with tips and tricks, some general advice and so on. But there are a few problems with that. I sadly haven't enough time to make such a complex video and second, not all the cards and rarities were known and guess what, besides Ultra Rares and Secret Rares, we still know most of them. So instead I give you the top 10 cards for the Invasion Mansion sneak peek. Let's start with the number 1, Sparkfield. Oh wait, did I spoil it? Nope. It would have been number one on my original list, but then it was confirmed to be an ultra rare and because ultra rares are hard to get on a sneak, I didn't want to include them. Same goes for secret rares. But all of the other rarities, common, rare and super rare are included in the list. So let's start this time for real, with the last card. Number 10 goes to Criston Impact. A normal trap that special summons a banished crystal monster to your field. Really strong combination with Crystal and Smogger that can banish itself to search this card. Synergy. This gives you a field advantage, tribute fodder and defense. One of the best commons in the set in my opinion. Number 9. Dino Swing. This card isn't really strong in terms of stats, but its effect is very strong. To simplify it, it cannot be destroyed by battle. This is really important on the sneak because there are hardly any outs to this. So you just set it and stall till your opponent decks out. Just a quick little advice for you. This sneak is gonna be really defensive. A lot of monsters with 2000 defense, but nearly no removal or beat stacks. So decking your opponent out should be a win option that you should strongly consider. As you already know by now, sneak decks are made of 20 or more cards. Most people are gonna run exactly 20 cards. My advice play with 21 or 22. So you can deck your opponent out first. Seriously, you don't need a consistent opening with a sneak deck. So one or two cards in your main deck give you slightly more options and can prevent such a dumb loss. Moving on to number 8 we have Subterra's Behemoth Stygo Kraken, one of the super rares. He doesn't have a high attack, only 1400, but 2600 defense. Nearly impossible to overcome. Also he destroys set cards every single time he is flipped up. And you can also flip him down by its own effect. That means that your opponent cannot set monsters. As I already said, this sneak is going to be very defensive. A lot of face down monsters with 2000 defense. This card easily destroys them. Over and over again leaving your opponent no way to defend himself. Stygo Kraken is the best one tribute monster in the set and can easily beat your opponent down. At number 7 we have the only extra deck monster on this list, Crisson Armatrix. There are so many tuners on this set, so bringing this card out shouldn't be a problem. Its effect prevents special summon monsters from harming you. Together with the Crystone's field spell, this card has 2800 attack, which is enough to get over nearly anything on the sneak. And when it dies, it replaces itself. Insane. There's only one reason why it's so low on this list. Be very afraid of Cyber Angel Vishnu, seriously. Never use any extra deck monster till you know that your opponent doesn't play that card. Otherwise they will simply finish you off with Vishnu. Or number 6 is the strongest and best level 4 monster in the set. Fairy Tale Talia. Even though it's a common, this card won't be easy to get because it's a short print. So consider yourself lucky if you pull one. This card lets you special summon your high level monsters from your hand. Dragon Core occurs or the advanced chemical beasts for example. Also it can negate spells and traps. This is a really strong control effect to further establish your board, especially with another beat stick on your side on the field. So with 1850 attack this is the strongest level 4 in the set, so your opponent can't easily attack over it and then activate spells or traps. You lock them out of their few removals against strong monsters. This can get scary for defensive opponents really quickly. For example, if you pair it with your number 5, Advanced Chemical Beast Dioxin. This thing is a beast. Not only a chemical beast, but a monster. 
So not only a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, a 2008 attack beat Siegfried removal effect that can be special summoned by multiple cards. Yes, this card can be a death draw, but it also will probably be the card that finishes the most games on the sneak. I can guarantee you that. Chemical Beast Dioxin is one of the main threats on the sneak. It's simply insane. Place number 4 goes to a monster that a lot of you would overlook if I didn't mention it. Chemical Beast Oxine Ox. Let's start with the bad. It only has zero attack, but besides that it can be one of the biggest threats on the sneak. It has 2100 defense, so surviving one turn should be easy for it. But then it can happen. You can flip with it, you can synchro with it, or even worse, you can summon it again to activate its effect. Summon an advanced chemical beast from your hand and summon their boss monster Metan Hide. Metan Hide will win you the game. Yes, it requires some cards, but Metan Hide brings another beat stick with it and it has 3000 attack and a removal effect. With other words, if you summon a thing, you will very likely win the game. And all just because of the small ox, so watch out, that card can lose you the game really quickly. Moving on to number 3, we have probably one of the strongest or maybe even the strongest trap in the set, Paleosonic Dino Mishus. You can discard a card to banish a face-up card on the field, or in other words, insane removal against the really big threats on the sneak peek. Save this card against some cards that we already talked about and prevent your opponent from going off. The more you draw on the sneak, the better the chances for you to win. This is probably the best common in the set from a meta point of view. And I didn't even mention that you can special summon itself from the graveyard if somebody activates a trap card. That's how good this card is. At number 2 we have a small monster that can get rid of any threat that your opponent summons on the field. Predator Plan Fly Hell. In short, you target one face up monster your opponent controls and put a predator counter on it. Then attack it and destroy it with Fly Hell's effect. Then its level is increased and it can just attack over everything. But wait, really really important, don't waste this card. Keep it as a backup in case your opponent summons a big threat. Wait until your opponent summons a high level monster and then he needs to use removal. So if you play against this card, use a low level defense monster like a level 2 for example as a bait. Your opponent gets impatient and attacks over it, but Fly Hell is only level 3, summon level 4 and get rid of Fly Hell. Still, one of the best cards on the sneak, one of the biggest threats that you will encounter. Before we talk about our number 1, here are some honorable mentions. Cyber Angel Vishnu, which can be summoned with the ritual spell Fairy's Blessing. Really strong, can win you the game if your opponent is stupid enough to control a monster that is special summoned with an extra deck, but it requires too many resources. All the crystal non tuners, because they have good stats, can be used for a synchro summon, and most of them have useful effects for the sneak peek. All the parallel Sonics, but especially Eldonia, because it is one of the best traps for a sneak and it works as some sort of removal. Gain your monster's additional attack to attack over a defense position monster or a small threat. Cleave or down for field advantage and a beat stick, but sadly it doesn't help you alone to get rid of monsters with 2000 or more defense, but it's good to reboot further. Crystal potential. It boosts the stats of all your crystals. Rosanix, for example, gets 2100 attack, which is really important. Also, a matrix with 2800 attack is insane. The promo card Space Dragster, like click further down, this card is good for field advantage and also for synchro plays. And last but not least, a card that a lot of you wouldn't play if I didn't mention it, but it can be really game winning. Present card. Your opponent discards the entire hand and then draws 5 cards. Seems unplayable, right? But not on the sneak. I say it again, the sneak is very defensive, a lot of decks out will happen. This card speeds this win option up. Just wait until your opponent has only 5 cards in his stack, activate this, watch them cry. I mean, he plays with 20 cards. He already drew 5 at the start, that means that after only 10 turns of stalling, you win. This is a short print, so it's really hard to get. But if you get lucky and get 2 or 3 copies, just chain one to another and get some really nasty wins. This card can single-handedly win you the game, 
even in a situation where everybody would give up. That's why, in my opinion, it's really close to being the top 10 list and I have to talk about it so long, even though it's just a honorable mention, so watch out for this card. And let's finally get to our number one, which can instantly win you the game if you resolve it, but it sadly requires some setup. But it, nevertheless, it's insanely strong. The card I talked about is Burnout. You trip it one chemical beast and special summon two of them. Even the advanced ones. Enables easy XCs plays, insane feed advantage, dodges removal, targeting effects. And that's not it. It even brings back the monster you banished. That's insane, it gives you so much offense but also defense at the same time. Yes, you can only use it if you draw at least 3 other chemical beasts, so not everybody can use it to its full potential, but if you do, you have the tool to win this tournament. And that's it, my top 10 list. Did I miss any card? Remember, no secret rares, no ultra rares. I also want to apologize for my voice, I'm a little bit ill by making the commentary. I wish you all good luck for the sneak and hope this video helped you to win a playmat. It would also be amazing if you would post your sneak reports in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it or sub to my channel. So again, thank you for watching, till next time, bye.